I hear you console players you love your auto load but you can only carry one item at a time on a trailer and you're forced to do something like this I mean four different trailers here for four different products what if I told you there was a way you could have three products on one auto load trailer if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit like subscribe and turn on your notifications how's it going everybody driver 53 here and today I'm going to show you exactly how you're going to be able to carry more than one item on an auto load trailer this is the tlx phoenix by 82 studios and these modular beds right here hold an enormous amount of product but it's only one at a time and if you're like me i make a lot of different productions all out of the same facility and i'm sure a lot of you guys are too i mean as you can see there are so many different things that i have going on in there and when they come out i mean they're just stacked everywhere right i mean i've got some cereal i've got some flour i've got some cheese i've got some oil i got some other oil clothes and there's just stuff all over the place well, those problems have now been solved by the Flegal Flatbed Semi-Trailer. That's a tongue twister by Top Ace 888 It might be a little bit confusing where you're going to be able to find it at under your tools, but it's in bale loaders. And you come across and you can see that you've got two different options right here. You've got a 90,000 liter capacity and a 60,000 liter capacity. Once we get in here, you can see that the auto load, you have standard, you have bales auto load, and then pallets auto load. All right, so you're going to want the pallets version right here. The bales obviously is going to hold bales for you and standard isn't going to auto load anything at all we're going to go to pallet right here all the other options here select whatever you would like all the different colors and attachers if you want to pull these in tandem and have more than one of these in a row then you need to put a trailer hitch on the back right here then you'll need a dolly and you could daisy chain these things together once you pick up your trailer and hook up your vehicle to it you got to make sure that your engine is running and then what i want you to do is go ahead and hold l1 and triangle and what that's going to do is actually turn on the uh, loading area markers all right now the next thing i want you to do keep holding your l1 and go ahead and move left and right on your right joystick all right that's going to move these things in and out now if we go up and down on that it's going to raise these things crazy high put them all the way down in the ground so what you're able to do is to load from it, wherever these are at, that's where your loading point is going to be at, right? So if we look at it from the back here, you can see that now I'm square. I can go all the way to the right over here and all the way to the left over here. I can go super high up in the air. And like I said, I can drop this thing all the way down into the ground. Now, if I hold my R1, it says that there's something maybe I could do too, but it's not working. Hold both of them and it doesn't do anything here. That's going to be only whatever you have bales on there. This trailer is going to do something crazy with your bales, but we're not looking at that today. We're going to go pick up some of these items right here. Now, the next thing you're going to notice is that I have a tip side. I've got a front and then I've got a middle and I've got a back. This does not matter whenever you're actually picking up your product, all right? We're going to leave it on front right here. What I am going to do is go ahead and lower this down just so it's just barely coming out of the ground. Right, you can see that right there, it's just barely coming out of the ground. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull up next to this item. So the first thing that should go on here is gonna be my cereal. So let me go ahead and zoom in just a little bit more right here. I'll go ahead and start pulling forward. And as you can see, well, it's not doing anything right now. What I gotta do is sometimes you gotta kind of mess around with it a little bit. All right, so sometimes what you gotta do is just kind of play around with it a little bit. You can see that right there, it is starting to load. So if I go down, now I'm good, right? So all of those items are going to go into my first loading zone right there. If I go ahead and back up. Now, nothing else is going to go in there, but now I should start seeing another product going into the second one. I'm not sure what this is. Raisins. We got raisins going into the second one right there. And as I keep going, now I'm going to be into my third loading zone. And I just got to kind of do the same thing. Go up and down, kind of get it figured out. And... Sometimes it, it, it takes a minute. It takes a minute for it to realize that there's something there that it needs to grab. It's probably something like, you know, with David's every once in a while, you just kind of like touch it a little bit and then it should start picking it up. Yeah. You could see right there. It actually started picking up my flower. So now I've got flour, I've got raisins and I've got cereal all on the same one. So now all I got to do is keep backing up. And then all these items are going to go ahead and just start spawning in here. And they're going to get loaded up on it to my trailer. Now, it does take a little bit, right? I think a little bit of it is we got to kind of touch them a little bit, just like with the 82 Studios one. But it's working, guys. 
it's absolutely working oh that's a lot of oil that's a lot of oil so if you got a lot of stuff like i have you might want to get maybe a little bit more than just one but but it's working we're getting three different items on our trailer here as you can see it's 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 great it's great now how do you unload well it's pretty simple you're gonna come over here all right now as soon as you turn on the engine this thing is good to go right Hold your L1 again and hit triangle. They're going to disappear, but it's still going to be there. So now, once again, I'm on my tip side front, right? Now, if I hold my R1 and triangle, it's going to unload everything over there on the right-hand side. I drive forward a little bit more. Boom. There we go. Now, there's all of those products unloaded. Hey, y'all want to see something pretty cool? Check this out. We are fast farming sugarcane on console guys i am doing 62 miles an hour right now let me show you exactly how if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe and turn on your notifications how's it going everybody driver 53 here and today i'm gonna show you how i was able to fast farm the sugar cane here guys i got 62 miles an hour in this awesome mod right here this is the t440 multi harvester pack from mark thor now if you guys know anything about the mark thor name you know that he makes some awesome stuff and not just for PC. He's branching out into console as well. He's already proven that with the quick bailer. You need to get you that too. If you haven't used it yet, once you get it downloaded, you're going to need to go into your vehicle section of your shop and then under beat technology and you go all the way across to where your mods are at. As you can see right here, the Terados T440 multi harvester. All right. $200,000 base price guys. This is absolutely insane. Super cheap harvester here. You may be thinking, but driver, it's only got 60,000 liter capacity. Nope. Check that out. 250K, 1 million liter capacity, only $20,000, y'all. Engine setup. All right, this is the really cool part. You could do 37 miles an hour regular with this thing right here under the regular engine setup at 626 horsepower. You go over one, 850 at 49 miles an hour, 1350 horsepower at 62 miles an hour. 1850 at 93 horsepower or all the way up to 2350 gets you 124 miles an hour and guys that's only two thousand dollars that is absolutely insane twenty two thousand extra dollars i can go 124 miles an hour and i can carry a million liters in crops guys this is this has got to be like the cheapest find that under your sugarcane technology in your tools section Come right here, go all the way across, and you can see we have three different options. Now, they're all going to do the exact same thing, just one's a little bit faster than the others. Now, your fast header right here, 62 miles an hour, $20,000. Your 24-mile-an-hour header is $15,000, and your 12-mile-an-hour header is $10,000. So, he doesn't give us the 6-mile-an-hour option. You can go 12 right off the bat. If you're not really comfortable going super fast, maybe get one this, maybe get this one right here at 24 miles an hour. I'm going to go ahead and take a look here at the 62 miles an hour one. One thing you notice right off the bat is that here in the front section, it's got a cotton symbol on it. Don't worry about that. It is for sugar cane. I assure you I'm using it right now. Main color, anything you want to. And this is also available over on the main harvester itself. If you're like me, I like a really good old case red or maybe a nitro blue. And yes, your workers are going to be able to use this. Absolutely no problem. They might run over stuff at the end of your field, so maybe make sure they have a little bit of room. But this harvest or this worker has been able to harvest 711,000 liters of sugarcane for me at five point meters wide at a time. They've done this entire section of the field over here without any problems. I've just let them go and they are fine. Now, when they get over, like I said, to the railroad tracks, you know, on Elm Creek, it's a little bit of a bump. They didn't go flying over it. I know I would have. And then over here on the other section, if there's a vehicle, they might tap it a little bit, but I have not had to restart this worker at all, guys. Once again, 62 miles an hour max speed, 1 million liter capacity. Guys, what are you waiting on? If you've got a lot of bales and pallets sitting around your farm and you need to store them somewhere so you can make more, well, I've got an option that's a little bit better than what you've got here in base game. And that is the E-Tunnel Single Arc right here by DD Mod Passion. These are available for all platform and were released on October 27th, 2023. And the really awesome thing about these right here is they come in a ton of different size options. You've got everything from 40 bales right here 
all the way up to 420 bales right here. Now your base game, that's only going to be about 250. So yeah, your big ones right here, 420 bales. Another really awesome thing, you get to drop off your pallets or your bales right here on this end. And then down on the other end is where you actually pick them up. So you could have something going on at both ends. Now, really other really cool thing about this, there's no collisions on your bales. So you are going to be able to drive or store anything else in here that you need to. Yeah, I, I think that's a really, really awesome feature. Um, I, I don't know why these don't have collisions on them, but they don't. So you got some bale equipment you want to store in here? Go right on ahead. You've got a, uh, I don't know, a, a mixer, mixing wagon, something like that. Yep, right in here too. Now you can see that it does have some lights along the top. On your basic little one right here, you can see that it's right here on the side. Go ahead and hit your light. You can see that it turns on and then it will turn back off. These here, it's really interesting because you could actually get to them from the side over here. So boom, there we go. Light is on, light off. So you can, you know, it, you don't have to do it that way. You could just go straight through here too and then find it. Boom, there you go. And then get right back out. Way you're going to be able to find these and put these down on your map is you go into construction and then you want to go into silo and then you're going to go all the way across. Now they start showing up really, really quick. $1,000 for a 40 piece tunnel. It's the same one that I've got right here. You can't really do much with it, right? You can uh, try and rotate it. it. It's not a completely free range rotation, right? It is going to only be on certain angles. So you don't have the true mobility uh, or customization that you got with a lot of the other ones. Or you could go all the way up to your biggest one that you've got right here. This is 420 pieces for only $10,000. So a lot better cost effective uh, option than you've got there with the base game or even some of the other ones. Now it doesn't hold like a thousand bales. It doesn't at all. But I think these things look a little bit more realistic than some of the other options that we've had here in the past. And I also found out these things have a different colors. All you got to do when you're putting them down is hit left and right on your D-pad, and it's going to change the color. Y'all, nothing crazy special about these. Just thought they were really, really cool because they're really cheap. I mean, $1,000 to $10,000, you can't beat that. And for 420 pieces of storage for $10,000, that is incredibly affordable. The Lizard Forage Pickup is great for emptying out silos or picking up any type of material you got laying around your farm. But I've heard from some of you guys that you're actually losing product when you use it. Let's test it. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. How's it going, everybody? Driver53 here, and today we're going to be testing out this Lizard Forage pickup to see if you actually lose any product when you're using it. I've seen some comments on Facebook and on my videos saying that you're actually losing a percentage of your uh, product that you're picking up off the ground. They said that they filled a bunker silo and that it didn't get as much into the trailer out as silage as what they got going in as chaff. So let's go and do a little bit of a test here. What I'm going to do is I've got my trailer and I'm just going to go ahead and dump this right here on the ground. All right. We are just going to go ahead and dump every single bit of it out here on the ground. It was at 100% completely full. And then we're going to go back and we're going to pick it up. So I've got about 10,000 liters left to put here on the ground. Then we're going to spin around and I'm doing this without any cuts at all. All right. No cuts. So we're going to go back up here to the front. We're going to turn it on. We're going to spin around and then we should be able to start picking this product up and putting it back here into this trailer. All right. So if it gets back to hundred percent, we know that we're good. If it doesn't get to hundred percent, then we know that we have a little bit of an issue. Now I have never thought that this was even a possibility. I've showed using this thing in multiple, multiple videos and like I said, I never realized it or never thought that it could be an issue. So we're putting it to the test here today to put it to rest once and for all, if you are losing any product when you're using this, and hopefully we get the answers that we want. 56,413, I'm at 99%. I'm sure there's possibly like a couple liters laying around there, but I, I say this is good. I mean, I know it's not completely 100, but there's probably something that was just a little bit off out there that I didn't quite pick up. But guys, as far as I'm concerned, this is myth busted. I think that this thing is going to get you 100% of your product or, or very, very close, kind of depending on, you know, what you can see. There might be a little bit that's in an extra square because we all know that this, 
this is the way that the game recognizes that the product is on the ground. There's each square has its own little section and maybe there's not enough in that section to be able to be visible. And that's what's going on here. But myth busted guys, it works absolutely fine. Hey, and this is driver from the future. I actually just drove by this other trailer right here. And for some reason now I'm showing 56,400 liters. I have no idea what happened. It's showing just that little bit of a quarter in the trailer up there. I don't know if you could see it or not, but now it's at exactly 100%. So I'm not sure what happened, but still myth busted. How's it going everybody? Driver 53 here. And today we're going to be taking a look at how much crop is lost. If you're turning your grass or your chaff into silage using a bunker silo. Now I've seen some comments on some of my previous videos that this is a real thing. I had no idea. So we're going to test it out today and either confirm it or myth bust it. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. First thing I need to do, though, is pick up a full trailer full of grass. Now, I'm using the John Deere 9620RX right now with the Big O tracks because that's going to become important when I start compacting. And then for the uh, Forge Wagon, I'm using the Strawman 530. So it should hold about 50,000 liters. And yes, it does. 50,000 liters of grass in here right now. So I'm going to go ahead and pull into the silo here, get up a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and start dumping this. All right. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start pulling forward, trying to keep it a little bit lower. That way, when I'm driving over it and compacting it, it's not super tall. All right. We're doing good. It got about 40% left. I think this is going to be right. 20%. And there we go. Right at zero. Perfect. In the top left-hand side of the screen, you can see that the fill level chaff is 50,000 liters and I've got 0% compacted. All right, so that level is still going to show up as I start compacting here. So let's go ahead and just start driving over it and see if anything happens to it at all. Now you can see that I'm already at 4, 5, 6%, 7, almost 10% compacted. So let me just keep doing this right here and then we'll take a look at it here once we are done. Uh, this is a very, very interesting thing to me. Because like I said, I never, ever thought that this was going to be a real thing here in the game. I thought when you put it in, that's what you got out too. But I have no idea. I'm going to go ahead and just keep talking to you guys while I'm doing this, even though we're at 24%. You know what? Maybe let's do a little bit of a time lapse here. Yeah, time lapse. All right, and there we go at 100%, and the fill level chaff still says 50,000 liters. Very interesting. So it, it doesn't lose anything when you are actually compacting it. If I step inside here again, you can see that it still says the exact same thing. Let's go ahead and blanket the silo. Now, I don't see how much is in here. Let's go ahead and sleep a couple days, and then we'll come back and check this thing when it's fully fermented. Bunker Silo is now fully fermented at 100%. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. And look at that, 50,000 liters still. Well, y'all, I guess that confirms that that myth is busted. You do not lose any crop or chaff whenever you throw it into a bunker silo and cover it up. You don't lose any at all. So I'm not sure where it's going if some people are seeing it, but there's none. Absolutely none. 100% in, 100% out. How's it going, everybody? Driver53, and I am back here today taking a look at this whole chaff and the bunker silo and your product being lost thing. Hey, guys, this video I put out maybe a couple weeks ago, and this video has the most comments out of any of my most recent videos. A lot of you guys said that I didn't fill the bunker all the way up, so it wasn't a real test. So that's what we're going to do. I got the biggest base game bunker. I've got an 820,000 liter capacity trailer right here. We're going to fill this thing up and I'm going to test it out and see if you guys are right or if I was right. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and just back up right here to the edge and we're going to go ahead and start dumping. All right, now this thing is going to fill up kind of crazy. As you can see, I'm going to try and get this as far back in here as I can because a lot of you guys in the comments were saying, well, it, whenever you get to the back of the bunker, it, it, you know, it, it's lost. It, it spills out the back. Okay. 
Well, I'm definitely going to test that. You can see that I've got over 400 or not even 400,000 liters in here so far. So we're going to keep going. I'm going to bring this all the way to the front. All right, right there. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off because now I'm at the front of my silo. So let's see. Well, hold on. Let me go ahead and just dump the rest of this in here. And then we're going to take a look at this and see exactly how much is in here. I don't have my help in you on it real quick. Let me go ahead and get that. All right, so I'm going to turn it on. Let me go ahead and finish up with the rest of this 279,000 liters here. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and go all the way back as far to the back as I can with this. And we're just going to fill this thing all the way full. Now, I, I would almost consider that being full. I mean, it, it's not letting me dump anymore right there. So I think that's as full as it's going to get. We're going to keep going here. Just keep the top nice and level. All right. Now, you can see that I've actually somehow... I gained 15 liters. It's an 820,000 liter capacity tipper. And I gained 15. A lot of you guys were saying, well, it, it, it tips or it clips through the sides. Well, here it's, it's not doing too bad. And it, it clips through the back. I don't have anything back here, guys. There is zero back here behind this bunker. And I'm not hiding anything. You guys have seen, this is no editing. I'm going straight through this. You can see that we are all the way back here, touching the back to piles as high as I can get them and there's nothing nothing clipping through the back and once again I've somehow managed to pick up 15 liters and I'm not gonna stop there we're gonna keep going we're gonna fill this thing all the way full I'm gonna see exactly how much I could put in here because that's the only way to do a true test apparently is to fill this thing completely full you know 50,000 liters in a silo you're right nobody ever does that nobody ever puts only 50,000 liters into a silo. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put millions of liters into this silo. I'm going to compact it and we're going to see exactly how much is lost. All right. I'm going to do this true test because apparently I am conveniently leaving out things also was in the comments. So I just, I just want to make this video to show everybody that, you know, I am being 100% honest whenever I make these videos. I'm not trying to you know, sway these things, these results in any way, one way or the other. I'm, I'm, you know, being absolutely honest with everything that I'm doing. So as you can see now, I have got two trailer fulls in here, 820,000 times two. And here is load number three. So I'm just going to keep riding this thing all the way to the front. Let it push me all the way up there. And then I'm going to go back up on top and I'm going to fill in every one of those little things that you guys see right there. So there we go, right there. Now, some of you guys also said, you know, this stuff does spill out the front. My question to you, for those of you that said that, if it spills out the front, is it technically still in the bunker? I don't think so. If, if I had a silo, okay, a grain silo, and I accidentally spilled some of it out on the outside, can I say, hey, my silo lost some of my grain? No. I can't. I mean, I can, but it's not a true statement. All right, so that was three of those right there. Now, let me go ahead and get up here and see if I can actually start unloading this. I don't think it's going to let me uh, get all the way back there unless I start filling this up just a little bit more. And then I'm going to have to come up with a creative way to get up there on top. Huh, maybe, maybe just hit it super, super fast. This is the fourth truckload, by the way. All right, fourth truckload coming in right now. Can I get all the way up there? Can I do it? Can I do it? But we're going to have to try this a different way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go forwards this time. I'm going to go forwards. We're probably going to get stuck. But let's see if we can do this. Can we do it? All right. Hey, we are now up on top. Moving around here. I'm going to go ahead and keep filling this thing as full as I can get it. And it looks like I'm going to get stuck again. All right. Maybe. Maybe. All right. I got it unstuck. And now I'm just filling in all these spots. All these spots right here where there's a little bit of chaff that I could fill in. Because like I said, I, I want to do this test to be consistent with the way that everyone else is doing this. All right, everybody, or a lot of people in the comments were saying, fill it all the way, fill it full. Nobody ever does 50,000 liters. Okay, well, here we go. We're going to fill this thing as full as I can humanly fill it. And I am getting compaction already happening, right? So that's, that's a thing too. There is compaction already happening here. So I'm just going to have to accept that that happens. You're, you're going to have compaction as you fill this thing up. It's just, it's a, it's a thing that's just going to have to happen. 
Okay. So keep going here. I've still got 673,000 liters here in my trailer. So I'm just going to keep going and hopefully none of it spills out the front. And if it does, we're going to come back and we're going to clean that up. I've got a leveler down there. You can see, so we're going to clean that up also. All right. So that there's none on the outside. And then, you know, I, I feel like this is a, a pretty, pretty realistic scenario for the way that everybody was uh, commenting in the video. So you can still see nothing is clipped through the side yet. Nothing, none. Okay. Really, really interesting. Really, really interesting. Now, I'm not saying that this doesn't happen on some maps, right? Maybe some maps you actually still have this happen um, where it clips through the side. And, and my, my comment to that is if you know what's happening, why are you still using that silo? Why are you using it if you know that it's broken? I mean, you, you have to accept that that is a flawed system and you have to stop using it or accept that it's happening and move on, right? You, you can't say that when someone else shows a way that their system is flawed, if they're using things that aren't broken and yours is, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's another really, really big thing here that I think a lot of players think that, um, you know, there's only one way to do it, and that's the way that they're doing it in a, in a lot of instances. And if you're using a broken system, I'm sorry, you you are not showing it the the proper proper way or or, or testing it the proper way, right? If if you know that it's broken, you you can't hold everybody else accountable and, and expect them to do the same thing you are because it, it's just it's flawed. It's flawed right from the start. There's no way to repeat that you know, that test or that, that, whatever you're trying to show, there's no way to repeat that. You know what I mean? At all. So I'm going to keep going here. We're almost full. I mean, I, I typically don't do these types of videos where I show every single thing and talk the whole time, but I, I wanted to make sure that people that were discrediting what I do and the types of videos that I produce for the community, um, can see, can see exactly what I'm doing here. And there's no question as to the validity of these results. Okay. There's no doubt that the validity of these, this test is, is accurate. Okay. So we're going to keep going here. I've got a little bit more that I could go here on the outside. I'm going to go ahead and stop right there because I feel like under normal circumstances that that's as far as, as you would go, right. To, to not have any of that product on the outside that some are considering loss. Uh, it's not, it's just not even in the silo. You know what I mean? You're, you're never, if you don't contain it, then it's not loss. Now, spillage? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Spillage is correct. I, I agree to that term. Once again, you see that none of that clipped through the, through the back. None of that clipped through the back. So I've got 200,000 liters here still. I'm going to keep going. I mean, I do have a little bit that's spilled out there in the front. So we're going we're gonna to scoop all that up, measure up exactly how much that is. 190,000 here. This is the, the fourth truckload, right? Fourth truckload, I believe. Um, and I got 300 or 3 million liters in this thing right now, 3.9. So, or 3.1, sorry, 3.1. So we're getting close. We're getting close to this thing being as full as we can get it. All right. So 158 still in here. I mean, if you, if you consider that eight times four is 32. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm right. Very, very close to where it should be. You know what I mean? So let's just go ahead and uh, get this truck. We're going to keep going around. Maybe I can put 150,000 liters somewhere in this thing. Um, the, my compaction is up to 9% now, so it is happening. Compaction is happening as I'm driving over it. It's a it's an unfortunate part of it that's happening. And so, yeah, we're, we're good. Into the edge there. I mean, I've still got 154. How about I just go ahead and park this bad boy? All right, so I did some quick math, and, you know, 820,000 times four is 3,280,000 liters. Well, I've got 3,124,698 here in the bunker. And that means I should have 155,302 left in my truck. Well, I've only got 154,778. But here's the thing, guys. I have product that is outside the bunker. Let me get this push back in here. We're going to see what our total is again. So here I've got a nice leveler. Let's see if I could actually get this pushed up inside here. If I can't, I'm going to pick it up and measure how much this is. Okay. So there we go. Oh, look at that. 
look at that. It it's kind of like going down. It's very, very interesting. Like this product. Oh, it's it's moving. It's almost like the leveler has a capacity. That is so weird. You know what I mean? So, so weird that that is actually a thing that the leveler holds capacity and 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 pushes it up. I mean, it, it's 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 really interesting that the leveler itself has has a capacity. I mean, look at that. I, I ended up pulling a little bit more out. I, I don't know exactly how to do this, right? I don't I don't use this thing all the time. So unfortunately, I, I, I think I think that's probably what a lot of people are experiencing. They're they're trying to push it, right? And then when they raise it, right, and bring it back, it it levels itself back out. So I think I think that's probably what some people were seeing. We're gonna try and push this up here as far as I can. Uh, raise this up. All right, pull it back. I did, see. We're just we're still we're still kind of like right there. You know what I mean? Like it's it's not it's not being friendly. So there is there is a little bit of air on the outside. Let's see one more try. One more try. No, I didn't get high enough. I didn't get high enough. And that time I kind of like even pulled it out. Holy cow! All right, so let's let's go over here where there's maybe a little bit more that I can get. And for some reason the tractor is going really slow. Not sure what's going on there. All right, so let's lower this down. Let's lower it down. Angle it. All right, right there is good. All right, let's push this. No. All right, well, that's that's not working. Maybe I need a bucket. Let's get a bucket. You know, before I use the bucket, I'm going to go ahead and get this truck out of the way. I've got this thing as full as I can up here. I know that some product is, you know, going to fall out whenever I, I get down here. So I'm just going to get this thing out of the way. That way I can fill back into this, and then we're good. Now I'm also going to go ahead and grab a big tractor, and we're going to drive it up on top, and that's going to do my compaction. All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and take the tractor up on top. Now, this thing weighs 25.8 tons. Should make this job pretty, pretty quick. And here is the bucket. I, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and clean up everything here in the front so that we don't have any issue with product being out here in the front and not counting that right in this. Because, I mean, this is, this is not loss. You know what I mean? Like, this is literally not loss. I, I honestly don't, I don't care what anybody argues. This, this is not loss. Okay. It, it's, it's just not, we're going to go ahead and push this all the way over. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this back into my truck over here. And then we will count this up and then I will start on the compaction. All right, everybody, you can see that I've got the front edge cleared up pretty good. I mean, there's like one little spot right here. And I've got one little spot right here. So 3,280,000 minus 184,429, which is in my uh, trailer right here. That means I should have 3,095,571. I've got 3,095,428. That's like what, 150 liters, 150 liters off 3.1 million. Hmm. I, I don't, I mean, I, it doesn't look like 150 liters. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not a 30% loss. There's no way that's a 30% loss. Just, just from that, from clipping. Right, thirty percent loss from clipping. So now let's do some compacting. All right, I'm just gonna start driving around, and we are at eleven percent now. I have no long, no idea how long this is gonna take, but we're gonna go ahead and start compacting. Now this is probably gonna take a very, very long time because I was not compacting it as I was going. So yeah, it's probably gonna take quite, quite the time. Yeah, twelve percent now. All right, I'll see you guys in an hour. And now I'm at 50%. So the fill level chaff hasn't gone down. 309-5428. Compaction's not doing it. It's not clipping through the sides. I don't know. I don't know what's causing it, guys. Like, literally, you wanted me to fill this thing all the way to the full? I did. There's 3 million liters in here. And I don't have a loss. I mean, I've got 150, right? 150 liters. So, yes, technically, there is a loss. But I got a feeling that's what's out front in front of the bunker. 
I just, I'm not able to pick it up right now. The buckets, if I do it, then it's going to remove like 20,000 liters more. And I wanted to leave as much in here as possible. So 150 is what we're at right now. Literally. That's it. All right, here we are at 98% now. Getting ready to be 99. There we go. All right, one more percent. And then I can be done. Where's it going to be? Where is it going to be? Oh, it's taking a while. There it is. 100%. All right, we're going to drive this off the edge so that I don't push anything out on the front. Now, once again, we want to confirm exactly how much is in here. And that is 3,095,428. Once again, that means that I need about 184,000 in here. 184, 429. So about 150 liters again. So... Nothing happened as I was compacting. It didn't push out the sides. It didn't clip. Nothing. Now, let's blanket silo. We'll see exactly. No, it picked these up. All right. It's showing that these are still inside. So there is 150 liters somewhere. But guys, even though it's 150 liters, I fully understand that is loss because I don't know where it's at. But it's nowhere near even like 0.1%. Well, that's it, everybody. I showed you that on 3 million liters, you're going to have 150 lost. If you do it the exact same way that I did it right here. If you don't do it the exact same way, then your answer difference could be different. Once again, no clipping on the outsides or the back. Nothing out the front. I mean, this it's, it's all included in there. 3 million liters plus in there. And I showed that only 150 liters are lost. In my mind, that's a zero. That means it's still myth busted. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video more. And you realize that I wasn't trying to cheat you. I wasn't trying to mis mis you know, represent anything. I wasn't conveniently leaving anything out. I just... There was no need to fill this thing all the way full. The game mechanics do not have it where anything is lost. If it's lost, it's operator error. And if you don't want that anymore, you gotta fix what you're doing. Well, that's gonna be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like if you would. Make sure to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to keep up to date on my future videos. While you're waiting on those future videos, go and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.